up until this point we've just worked with the basic page content type and um, the basic page is great for static content that's not going to change very much but if you have content that is going to um, eventually end up in a list like faculty or um, courses or seminars research projects there may be a template that is better suited for that and actually the web team has created several custom content types and you've probably noticed them already while um, creating basic pages for your site so in this video we're going to take a look at um, one of those and kind of explain why they're better and um, how they work so what exactly what you have available will vary depending on your unit's needs as far as custom content types goes uh, but by default most of our units development sites come with um, in addition to basic page and article courses personnel and research projects and um, the purpose of these content types is pretty self-explanatory it's in their title courses is for courses personnel is for people who work for your website um, research project is for research and um, let's have a look at personnel I mean most units will have people working for them so you probably will have some personnel to enter into your website so I'm gonna create a new personnel content type as if I were you know trying to add a faculty members um, information into my website and uh, really this content type looks very similar to basic page it's got uh, a title area it's just called full name and when I scroll down I even see the sort of word processor area where I can enter in a faculty members biography um, I can add links and um, there's IMCE so I can um, upload images and files to this content type so really the main difference between custom content types like personnel and courses and basic page is that there are a lot more fields and if I scroll down I can see them and they are specific fields for specific information and what that allows the web team to do is to sort your content by that specific information so as far as working with and using custom content types like personnel this is all you need to know it's pretty self-explanatory you just fill out the fields and the web team takes care of the rest so the rest of this video is just going to give you an example um, and show you how those fields are utilized and what that content will look like or possibly look like once your website has been launched. And I'm going to do that using the Department of Philosophy's website because um, their site has been launched and they are using custom content types like personnel. So um, I'm going to go over to this tab here and I'm logged in as an administrator to the Department of Philosophy's website and here um, I am on Dr. Davian's personnel page and uh, here's her photo um, and here's some title information her office so these are fields that have been filled out and this is actually her biography text in fact let's um, let's click on edit and have a look at um, what the back end of this looks like and again I'm able to do this because I'm actually logged into the philosophy website because I have access so there's that full name title field here's some titles and there's her biography I want you to notice um, just like on my uh, the website I've been working on there is um, a position field which allows me to indicate whether you know Dr. Davian or my faculty member is faculty or staff or graduate students so again that looks pretty familiar there um, but there's some additional fields that um, did not come default with this personnel content type and there are fields that uh, philosophy has asked to include so for philosophy in addition to the position tagging we've enabled them to tag um, what faculty what status their faculty member is if they are faculty so in this case Dr. Davian is tagged faculty and department officer so let's see how this um, how this works when we're displaying a list of personnel so to do that I'm actually going to go um, to the directory of the philosophy website and in this case it's called people and um, <clears throat> I'm clicking on faculty here and because Dr. Davian 
has been tagged as faculty, she is showing up under faculty. And because she has also been tagged as a department officer, she's showing up under this list. And you'll see that there's additional tagging here. So everyone who's appearing under full-time faculty is appearing there because they were tagged as full-time faculty when someone um, created their personnel page. There's part-time instructors, emeritus faculty, etc. And remember how I was telling you that specific fields in these content types allows the web team to sort the content by those fields. And, and I gave the example of, because we have this last name field here, the web team is able to sort my personnel content by, the la by um, last name. We see an example of that here. And we see, we notice that, <coughs> you can see that department officers are indeed sorted by last name. Um, working with these content types is pretty easy. Um, it's self-explanatory. You just fill out the fields and as long as there is information there, the web team can sort your content in whichever way you would like. If we, if we look at you know all the custom content types, they're very similar. Um, looking at courses, there are specific fields here, which means I could sort by those fields if I wanted, if the web team could sort by those fields. And then there's, um, in this case, there's a way to tag the courses as fall, spring, or summer. So now you have had a quick look at some of the custom content types we offer for the web team. Again, we can customize fields. We can provide means for you, additional means for you to tag your content, and which will allow the web team to sort um, later in a way that you, the way that you desire. And then there are also, there's a whole bunch of custom content types types that we can um, include on your um, site for you to work with. For instance, seminars and colloquia is not here, but um, seminars was developed for cellular biology because they wanted um, a way to list their seminars, and then we updated that and created um, a colloquia content type for philosophy. Um, and for instance, for biochemistry, in addition to research projects, they have a content type called labs, and they're able to enter in. Um, lab locations, who's associated with the lab, etc. And so that pretty much wraps up our basic Drupal training.